hey welcome back so now in this lecture let's trace the application right from the beginning that is from the main so when application runs it runs from main obviously right and so whenever we are running we are in the context of let's say main function isn't it here is the point where you create the first task isn't it so and here is a place where you start recording isn't it so this is going to generate the first event the x task create now let's locate that in the sega system view software now let's go to the software and let me just expand this and now there are various events so let's filter in order to understand this so right click here so select any event and right click and select task only so you can filter by using various options here now let me just show you only the task and here it is let's trace from the line number 73 so first we create the task one isn't it so that's why here you can see that at this timestamp we actually create the task one task create so it is saying that you call the task create at this timestamp and on the timeline you can see here so it starts at this point so now let's see what exactly is a task creation process now this is a task creation process so when you create a task using x task create which actually creates a task dynamically by taking the help of heap now the first tcb is created right so that is task control block for that particular task that is tcb which will be created dynamically so tcb will be created in ram and it is initialized remember tcb will have various fields like top of stack and various other things like priority value and uh, the task name etc so all those things are initialized and after that what happens is stack is allocated for that particular task with the amount what you have mentioned during task create so stack memory will be allocated in the heap and uh, so a dedicated stack memory will be created for a task and it is initialized so this stack memory will be tracked using the PSP register of the ARM Cortex-MX processor. Now PSP stands for Process Stack Pointer. So that is one of the stack pointer register of the ARM Cortex-MX processor in order to track the stack utilization of task. Now there is also one more uh, register called MSP that is called main stack pointer so that is actually used to track the stack utilization of the kernel so more on that we'll discuss later now don't get confused very very simple tcb is created a dedicated private stack for that task is created and task will be put under ready list because the task is ready so it is ready to run so task will be put under ready list for scheduler to pick when the scheduler runs now let's go back and so that's what this trace is saying so task is created here that means the tcb is created and here actually the stack is created at this location and after that uh, task is put under ready list here so if you want to take a look into that code so here it is task create now the first thing actually is create a stack by using malloc here you can see the stack is created the memory is allocated for that and after that tcb is created and after that you can see that the task is put to ready list so add new task to ready list so that means the task creation process is just allocating some memory and putting that TCB into a ready list for the scheduler to pick. The scheduler will run later. Let's explore that. And after that, you create task 2. And here you can see that. So task 1 went to ready list. After that, again, task create. 
that is for task 2 here it is and task 2 also put into ready list here at this location all right and after that one more task create now let's explore this one more task create and after that what happens in your code you actually try to start the scheduler right now the tasks are already put under ready list and now you start the scheduler now this is a api in order to start the scheduler that is v task start scheduler which is one of the api of task.c so please note that this is not the scheduler this function is not scheduler so this does lots of initialization before triggering the scheduler so this function triggers the scheduler and what is the first thing it is going to do take a look here it first creates the idle task so now what exactly is the idle task now let's understand prior task idle task and uh, its significance 